Okay, in this tutorial we're gonna continue on from uh, what we finished off at the last tutorial. What we didn't cover last time was the um, the effect of the material. Now, as you are aware, the uh, the color and the finish of the material internally and externally has an effect on the lighting levels. So to to show such an effect. Um, you can change the, the material by selecting um, a wall, for instance. The, the standard wall that you've used here is the brick timber frame wall. And if you click on the properties for this wall, you'll see that it has a U value admittance and solar absorbance, which is not very relevant here. What is relevant at the moment is the internal finish color. Now, if, if you click on that, you see by default materials have this light grayish color and um, it gives you the uh, options of changing these colors there are the RGB settings the red green and blue component and if you change any of these you can see that in the preview here it, it changes the, the color now you can make this color brighter um, by increasing the the three values, so in this case I'll I'll just increase them into all into 200 to maintain a grayish tone but much uh, lighter. So as you see, it's it's much lighter than what it used to be. And if you increase it too much, you'll get a warning that you are exceeding the um, the the realistic value, because in reality, even if the wall is white. It cannot be 100% white, so there's there's a limit of the realistic limit of how much the the whiteness of the wall it can be. So I'll just turn it back to 200. If I set the click on set the color, it will set the the chosen color into the internal. And otherwise, if I just apply to both, it will apply to both ranges. So in this case, because we're doing an internal analysis, I'm gonna click on set color and then apply changes and now because I've applied this change to the um, the, the wall material type which is timber the brick timber frame any wall with a similar material will have a, a similar effect it will have the, the color inside changed now if you rerun the analysis now you'll see that the because of the walls inside are lighter in color there is more internal reflectance from the light, hence the wall, be the, the internal room becomes lighter overall. Another property that has a major effect on the, um, the analysis is the, the glass panel itself. Here the window that we have is a single glazed timber frame window, which is the default material for windows as well. And if you go to properties, you see that, again, different values, but what's important for us this time is the visible transmittance. This is how much light is the glass letting in. By default it's 0.737. I'll leave it at that for now. But just in case if you have um, if you have specs for a different glass panel that you want to use, you might want to enter it here. And of course the internal and external color of the glass has an effect on what color light goes through. So if you have any reason to change that you can do it through there. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep it like that for now. Okay. Now let's start looking at the um, the effect of shading devices. In this room that we've designed here, um, it's a rectangular room, and we have a window only on one side. And as you can see, we it's showing a lot of glare happening adjacent to the window, and not as much light coming in um, to the rest of the room. Actually, there is enough light in, in the dark end of the room, but it's the problem with the glare at this side. So, one way we can deal with this is by introducing a horizontal uh, shading device. And the easiest way to model that is using the plane uh, tool here. So, I'm just going to use that to quickly trace a, a rectangular shading device. Let's assume it's 500 mm. 500 mm uh, deep 
I'm just going to go all the way uh, with the same width as the, the wall, which is 3 meters, and then close it off as a rectangle. And as you know, no need for the foot clip, we'll just click on its face. As you've noticed, I've modeled it on at the floor level. It's just easier this way. And then I can very quickly move it up along the, the Z axis. So I'm just going to use the transform menu and, and use the move tool. I'm going to move it in the Z axis around 2 meters high, 2000 mm. So I'm going to click on apply transform and as you see, the machining device is moved up. Of course, it's not there yet, so I'm going to move it another 500 to align it with the window. Maybe another 100. There you go. Perfect. So now it's perfectly aligned with the with the top edge of the of the window. Okay. Let's run rerun the analysis and see what effect such a shading device has. If you go to visualize, here's your shading device. Okay. And as you can see, it's shading partially the window, but there is still some bright sunlight coming in. But anyway, let's let's run the analysis and see what happens. So I'm just going to go back to the analysis grid menu and click on perform calculations, natural lighting levels. Okay, so already we're seeing an effect for the shading device. If you remember from last time, the, the lighting levels near the window were almost um, 1400 plus flux. Now the maximum goes uh, to 1000 lux uh, next to the window, so we've reduced the glare. And because we're having more reflections now, we're seeing that the more homogeneous light going in all the way through the room. So it's clear the effect of the shading device. Let's try and, and change. Maybe you're not happy with the shading device, it's not fully shading the, the light correctly. So I'm going to save that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the shading device. Okay, let me let me do that again. Okay, I'm going to select the shading device, double click on it, and then I'll get these two uh, four points over here that I can select and move around. So I'll select these two to drag, go to the movement menu, and I'm going to move them 500 in the X direction, okay, positive X direction. There you go, I'm going to apply transformation. I, and I ended up with a bigger shading device, okay, it's twice as good. And if I go to the visualize, I can see it's perfect. It's totally shading the window this time. So let's save, rerun the analysis, and see what effect we have. So I'm going to go to the um, Again, analysis grid and click on perform calculations. Next, next, everything is the same as it has been. I click on OK. Okay. Now, so I've, the, the glare area is, has been reduced even further. It's not showing significantly more reduction in lighting levels. There's a lot of light still coming in, but you get the idea how to um, see the effect of, of shading devices. So I'm going to stop it there for this time.